Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you have not already noticed, my voice is shot. I don't know what's going on. I'm not sick, not congested. I've tested for COVID. I've tested for everything. Everything is negative. I don't know what's going on. I, I haven't screamed or yelled, haven't been to a concert, haven't done anything where I feel like I would cause my voice to just kind of do what's doing. It's very grungy, but we're gonna keep it moving. Because, mama, I got things to talk about, okay? So let's just get into it. A lot of people are like, Tati, that don't try that brand, but it's at Ulta. Like, I bought this at Ulta. What are your feelings about Beauty Counter? I got as a gift, not from the brand, but from a close personal friend, some Beauty Counter skincare stuff, and I love it. But a lot of you guys were DMing me and you're like, no, this is uh, multi-level marketing. Like, don't you even play in that? And I was like, well, I got it as a gift. I'm going to use it. I like it. And then I saw the brand pop up at Ulta. So are they multi-level marketing or are they not? Um, if I have never met you before, my name's Stephanie Robnett and I'm an executive director with Beauty Counter. And I really just wanted the discount. I was a stay-at-home mom. I was not looking for a job. Um, life was insane. My husband was having chronic back pain at that time. It put a lot of extra on me. We were moving states that year and there was, it was just like not a good time to like, I don't know, start a business. Um, I'm a senior director with Beauty Counter and I've been doing this gig for four years. I was looking for something that I could do from home. Uh, Steph also shared my husband was in seminary. So we had one income and it was mine. So basically me not working was not an option in any way, shape or form. For me, it was 100% about the income. I needed a job. I needed money. I loved the products. Stephanie came and dropped off a big box of things for me to try. And I tried do skin and the cleansing balm. And I told my husband like that day, I was like, Oh no, I, I think I have to join this company. And I guess I'm going to start selling skincare when I had previously washed my face, like maybe once in my entire life. So it was quite a leap for me. I'm not a, by nature, a skincare guru or anything, but it turned out fantastically. And this has been my job for four years. So Steph, I would love to hear what you feel like the advantages of joining right now are. I know that you mentioned you joined for the discount. Are there any discounts that are happening right now? Yes. So I think that's the perfect question. I am a discount girl through and through. And that was why I joined BD counter. That was what drew me in. I really joke that I didn't realize I was starting a business because I didn't, I really just wanted to make it more affordable for my family. So, you know, some of the perks of being a brand advocate, so you're going to get 25% off your products. Um, my next favorite perk is that we earn commission off of our sales. So when someone shops your personalized shopping link, you earn commission off of that. We have room for you at beauty counter, whether you are selling to your mom and your sister and your neighbor, and that's maybe all you want to sell to, or if you're wanting to, you know, build a bigger business and have a hundred customers by the end of the year, wherever you are in that spectrum, like we have space for you here. We want you here. So Abby, you mentioned that you joined beauty counter. You actually knew you were starting a business. Yeah. And that you joined Beauty Counter for kind of the income opportunity. So can you share a little bit about the opportunity that you still see four years later? Yeah, a hundred percent. That is the only reason that I joined. And honestly, it's the reason I'm still doing Beauty Counter. There is an enormous business opportunity here and a ton of income potential. Give me a minute. <laughs> I think it's really advantageous because it teaches you how to do this job and how to get yourself out there and talk to people and share beauty counter. I don't know if you've noticed, but right now my gas prices are getting a little bit high. I just had some groceries delivered and my husband laid it all out on the counter and he was like, is this really $215 worth of groceries? Because it wasn't all that much stuff. And that's just sort of where we're at right now. So everyone is probably in need of a little bit of extra cash. And it is just a really good time to jump in with Beauty Counter and have that extra cash. Anywho, the reason why we are here today is to talk about 
this video that was released by Tati about a little over a week ago. In the video, the lawsuit update, Tati uses an MLM product in her video. I don't know, this looked really pretty and I wanna try it out. You guys know I love this kind of formula for cream blush when it's in a pan is my favorite. This is the shade Havana. Let's try it. I cannot understand. I can't wrap my head around the fact that there are people like Tati who have made their career from being on the internet. I mean, she does makeup reviews, she does makeup tutorials, hauls. She has made her life from her content here on the internet. For someone who has made their life because they are an internet personality, I don't understand how she cannot think to be like, you know what? Before I feature this product on my channel, I should really look into it because I've been warned about it by my subscribers, as she admitted. It is so funny to me that she admitted to being warned about it and that she still decided to just say, you know, to her subscribers, to the people who warned against her using and broadcasting this product, to her over 8 million subscribers, like she was like, I don't care, I'm gonna use it anyways. I am willing to bet any amount of money that the friend who gifted her this makeup supposedly, who also, she also admitted to the fact that this friend also gave her skincare products from the same company, that person has to be a brand advocate or an ambassador or someone who's trying to recruit more people. And I can only imagine, I can see the allure in gifting these products to someone like Tati who has the like substantial audience the extraordinarily large audience that she has over eight million people right i can see the thought process behind why she would give these products to tati because of course tati reviews makeup tati reviews skincare she does those things on her channel she features products on her channel and she said i love these products i love what i've used so far i got as a gift not from the brand but from a close personal friend some beauty counter skincare stuff and i love it that's her promoting the product right and i guarantee you i didn't find any but i i'm sure what they were hoping for was that people would be curious about where she got the makeup from or who her friend is who has hookups and I'm sure Tati would have just passed them right along to that person. And guess who's making more money? That friend of hers. That's what I guarantee you is happening here. And of course, there could also be a chance that this friend was just someone who happened to use the products and like them and passed them along to her. But I really don't find, I don't think Tati would be somebody who would just use used makeup or skincare products from someone who just didn't like them. I'm pretty sure she would want to use brand new products, which is why I really believe that this friend didn't just have these products laying around. I, there was a stock and they wanted to pass it along to somebody who had a large audience. They saw the opportunity with Tati, they took it, and it's going to benefit them in the long run, especially if they're able to recruit more people onto their teams. That's more money for the person. That's all it is. Truthfully, I have not trusted Tati in a very long time. Um, as a matter of fact, the last time that I had any kind of trust, I guess, in Tati or her reviews was about the time that the Hey Sister or the Bye Sister situation happened. And it wasn't until then that I realized that Tati did not have a problem with James Charles and his disgusting ass behaviors until he refused or didn't promote her scammy ass hair gummy bears or whatever the fuck it was. He and his audience no longer benefited her. And that was the only time that she had any kind of issue with him and his disgusting behavior. So ever since then, I have not trusted her. But it's just, it is just amazing to me to watch this video and see that she just truly does not give a shit and does not care about what people think. She's gonna do what she wants to do. And of course, that's her channel. She can do what she wants to do. But you also owe your subscribers who clearly trust in you, all 300,000 of them who watch this video, trust in your opinion you owe it to them to look into the products that you're promoting and make sure that you're not promoting a product that's going to or that could potentially lead them into a situation where they're being roped into these scammy ass mlm brands like beauty counter anyways that is all i have for you guys for today what do you think do you think she was in the wrong for featuring this product do you think she did nothing wrong 
Tell me what you think down below. Uh, but I am done for tonight. My voice is shot. I'm going to go drink some tea and go on a vocal rest for a while and go to sleep. So I will talk to you guys in the next video. I love you guys so, so much. Bye.